I'm holding a piece of an iron meteorite that hit the Earth so hard 5,000 years ago that it fractured and created some pretty fascinating shapes. Let's meet the Gebel Camille meteorite. In the late 2000s, an Italian scientist named Vincenzo de Michel was looking on Google Earth, trying to find ancient Egyptian sites for research and came across what appeared to be a meteorite crater. Now, upon further research and after sending an expedition, it turns out this site, now known as the Gebel Camille Meteor Crater, was the site of a strong meteorite impact about 5,000 years ago. So we're talking about 3000 BC. The Gebel Camille meteorite is interesting for a few reasons, and the first is just looking at it visually. Most meteorites we see are at least in some type of kind of conglomerate shape, like a whole stone shape, but most of these are actually fragments. They're shrapnel, and that's because the impact was at such high velocity, this meteorite, even though it was iron and nickel, metal, it was so much force that it actually shattered apart into lots of different pieces. And that's why you have all these unique shapes in it. You have these little rollover lips and these jagged edges that are not necessarily too common of meteorites. Not only that, because this has been around for such a long time and it has been preserved in a dry area, we also have this unique patina on it. It's often called a lizard skin. It's kind of this bronze brown color. And although these iron meteorites can be cleaned, most Gebel Camille meteorites are not because they have such a unique patina that actually protects them. It's a little bit of a rust coating on the outside of them so that they don't rust like some iron meteorites would. The Gebel Kamil impact crater in Egypt has a radius of about 150 feet. It's very large and something like one and a half to two tons of material have been extracted from it. Unfortunately, the crater is in pretty rough shape. People looking for these meteorites have kind of destroyed it in recent times. There's not much left there, which is a little bit of a sad state of affairs. But we do have these meteorites from it. They're really neat artifacts of a super unique fall from what we have as an ungrouped iron. It's very similar to a lot of other iron nickel meteorites that we've seen, but it's also different in some ways and we haven't necessarily seen any other meteorites like Gebel Camille that have made it to Earth yet. A lot to learn about this one. If you want to keep learning about meteorites in space together, make sure to like this video and follow along. I've got a lot more to show you.